Welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. President Obama's supporters are starting to compare the Obamacare rollout to President Bush's Hurricane Katrina. Is that an accurate comparison? I've got Best of the Web Today columnist James Taranto here. Uh, I mean, first, I want to put up a quote from the New York Times. This is from Michael Shear in these last couple of days, and I quote, Barack Obama won the presidency by exploiting a political environment that devoured George W. Bush in a second term, plagued by sinking credibility, failed legislative battles, fractured world relations, and revolts inside his own party. President Obama is now threatened by a similar toxic mix. The disastrous rollout of his health care law not only threatens the rest of his agenda, but also raises questions about his competence in the same way that the Bush administration's botched response to Hurricane Katrina undermined any semblance of Republican efficiency. James, are these two events comparable? Well, the events aren't really. I mean, Katrina was a natural disaster, and uh, Obamacare is what uh, former Secretary Napolitano used to call a man-caused disaster. <laughs> uh, but the comparison is a fascinating one, and of course it's particularly interesting that it's being made in the New York Times, which is the country's most important liberal newspaper. And uh, it's, you know, we've seen Obama kind of standing there and uh, looking confused, and the, the, the way in which that, uh, that uh, passage you read is phrased is telling. Uh, plagued, Obama's <laughs> plagued, and he's uh, threatened. You know, all, this pa all these passive constructions, meaning Obama's not really leading, and the New York Times is recognizing it, you at know, least on their news side. You know, I, there was also an interesting quote from Slate's Matthew Iglesias, who, who basically compared the death count of Hurricane Katrina, more than uh, 1,800 people, uh, to the number of people who he says died because of healthcare.gov. He says less than one. Uh, is that accurate? Well, I... Look, the, what, 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 what happened, of course, is after the Times did this, the most diehard liberal journalists, guys like Matt Iglesias, Joan Walsh of Salon, to a lesser extent Ezra Klein of the Washington Post, uh, rushed out to say, oh, no, this is a terrible comparison. We have to remain loyal to Obama. So the claim is the Obamacare death toll is zero. Well, okay. But that's like saying the Hurricane Katrina death toll was zero before it made landfall. Uh, Obamacare's landfall is January 1st. That's when the canceled insurance policies start taking effect. And like I said, Ezra Klein of the Washington Post did a, did a piece like this uh, saying death toll is zero. Well, in 2009, when, they were, when the Senate was negotiating over Obamacare and Senator Joe Lieberman, who had the deciding vote, as did every other Democrat in the Senate, was holding out because he didn't like one provision that was in the version of the bill then, Klein said, uh, so Lieberman, in order to settle an old political score, is willing to let hundreds of thousands of people die. The idea being that Obamacare was going to get all these people insurance, and hundreds of thousands of people died because of not having insurance. So now, apparently, it turns out, according to Iglesias and Walsh and Klein and all these other left-wing hacks, it turns out medical insurance is a matter of life and death after all, apparently. So why did we have this big guy uh, to do about uh, quote unquote universal care yeah it's a good it's question just it's, astonishing. Yeah, it's a good question and if you want to know which comparison is more appropriate you can read james's column on wsj.com best of the web today columnist james taranto thank you very much thank you